today we will discuss connections between nets and filters that is we will show that there is a filter corresponding to a net and corresponding to every filter there is a net let us define a filter generated by a net let f a a belongs to a be a net in x that means f is a mapping from a directed set a to set x then the filter generated by the filter base b containing sets of the form b a not such that a not belongs to a where b a not is a set containing elements of the form f a such that a is greater than or equal to a not is called the filter generated by f a a belongs to a let me make it more clear b a not containing elements of the form f a and f a is an element of x so each b a not is a subset of x and so b is a collection of subsets of x first we shall show that this b is a filter based on x since a is a non empty set because it is a directed set and corresponding to every element in a there is a member in b so b is a non empty collection of subsets of x let us show that b is a filter based on x for each a in a since a is a directed set so a is always greater than or equal to a and so f a belongs to b a which implies that b a is non empty and so no member of b is empty so first condition of a filter base is satisfied and next we have to check second condition that b a1 belongs to b and b a2 belongs to b as a1 belongs to a and a2 belongs to a and a is a directed set so there exist a3 and a such that a3 is greater than or equal to a1 and a3 is greater than or equal to a2 thus there exist b a3 and b such that b a3 is contained in b1 and b a3 is contained in b2 why because if a3 is greater than or equal to a1 then b a1 contains b a3 and a3 greater than or equal to a2 implies b a2 contains b a3 and so for two members b a1 in b and b a2 in b there exists a member b a3 in b such that b a3 is contained in b a1 intersection b a2 that is we have shown that for any two members of b there exists a member of b contained in the intersection hence b is a filter based on x so we have b filter base and the filter generated by this base is obtained by taking supersets of members of b and so we get a filter that is called filter generated by net f a next we define a net based on a filter let f be a filter on x and let lambda f containing elements of the form x f ordered pair where x belongs to f and f is a member of filter f then this set lambda f is directed by the relation defined as x1 f1 is less than or equal to x2 f2 if and only if f2 is contained in f1 so let us check that this is a directed set we know that this is a directed because for xf in lambda f xf is less than or equal to xf as f is contained in f 
So this relation is reflexive in lambda f. And let x1 f1 is less than or equal to x2 f2 and x2 f2 is less than or equal to x3 f3. Then from this definition, f2 is contained in f1 and f3 is contained in f2. And so we can say that f3 is contained in f1. Whereby x1 f1 is less than or equal to x3 f3 by this relation. Thus, this relation is transitive in lambda. And third condition, let x1 f1, x2 f2 belongs to lambda f. And as for f1 and f2 in f, f3 is equal to f1 intersection f2 also belongs to f because f is a filter intersection of any two members of f is also in f and let us denote that intersection by f3 and so and f3 satisfy uh, this condition f3 is contained in f1 and also f3 is contained in f2 and so we have um, element x3 f3 in lambda f such that x1 f1 is less than or equal to x3 f3 by that definition by this definition since f3 is contained in f1 so x1 f1 is less than or equal to x3 f3 and since f3 is contained in f2 so x2 f2 is less than or equal to x3 f3 and so the third condition of a directed set is also satisfied and so this lambda f is a directed set and now we have a directed set so we are in a position to define a net in x so we define a mapping f from lambda f to x defined by f of x f is equal to x then this is a net in x because this is a mapping from a directed set to capital X and so this is a net in X and it is called the net based on filter F. Now we shall prove a theorem which states that a net in a set X is an ultra net if and only if the filter it generates is an ultra filter. Let us prove this theorem take an ultranet let f a a belongs to a be an ultranet in x and we have to prove that the filter generated by this net is an ultra filter so take from subset s of x and let f be the filter generated by net f a then we know that this um, filter f is generated by uh, this means this has base b containing b a naught such that a naught belongs to a and b a naught is set f a a greater than or equal to a naught and this is the base of the filter f as f a a belongs to a is an alternate in x so it is eventually in either s or its complement means s complement x minus s and so since this is eventually in s means there exists some a naught in a such that f a belongs to s for all a greater than or equal to a naught and if this is eventually in x minus s then f a belongs to complement of s for all a greater than or equal to a naught and f a for every a greater than or equal to a naught belongs to s means b a naught is contained in s or b a naught is contained in complement of s and this implies that either s belongs to f or complement of s belongs to it. Why? Because b is a base for filter f. 
so b contains supersets of its members and so if s contains b a not then since s is um, a superset of uh, a member of um, base of filter f so s will belong to f and if b a not is contained in s then s minus s complement so s complement is um, a superset of a member of uh, a base of the filter f and so we can say that x minus s belongs to f so we have shown that for any subset s of x either s belongs to f or its complement belongs to f and so we can say that f is an ultra filter on x conversely let the filter f generated by the net f a be an ultra filter on x and we have to show that net f a is an ultra net so take some subset s of x s f is an ultra filter on x so either s belongs to f or complement of s belongs to f and by definition of n because f is generated by b base b and so uh, there exists some a not in a such that some member of base b is contained in s or um, contained in complement of f so b a not in is contained in either s or in the complement of s that means f a belongs to s for every a greater than or equal to a not because b a not in is contained in s means f a belongs to s for every a greater than or equal to a not and similarly f a belongs to x minus s for every a greater than or equal to a not so one of the conditions will be satisfied so we have this and this implies that f a a belongs to a is eventually in s or complement of f and this implies f a a belongs to a is an ultra net in x thank you